Hey up everybody, Magpie Gaming here and in this video we're going to talk real quickly about the recent lawsuit that was filed by PUBG Corporation against Epic Games. Now back last year when Epic Games decided to release Fortnite, they obviously saw the popularity of PUBG and thought, yeah, we, we can get in on that. They already had the Fortnite um, PvE game ready to go, that had been in development for quite a while so they already had a good foundation for that game, they just needed to work out a battle royale mode to go on top of it and there you go released it as a free game and up to date it is currently kicking PUBG's ass all over the place it is doing a lot better than PUBG it's a lot more stable the fans enjoy it more there's a lot more to do in the game there's a lot more engagement between Epic Games and the fans with this PUBG in comparison just seems a bit of a mess these days it takes them ages to roll out any changes to the games they're doing test servers and beta servers and it takes ages to put anything out live Changes seem to be coming very slow at, with that game. The Xbox development of the game is being ripped to pieces on social media. People really are happy with that version of the game right now. And before it was released on the Xbox, people had high expectations for it. You know, they was going to put some devs from, I think, the Coalition that worked on um, Gears of War. They was going to go in and help them with the development. So people were expecting, and me included, were expecting that the Xbox version might be come you know the de facto go-to version of PUBG it'd be a lot more stable there'd be less hackers etc etc that isn't the case the Xbox version is a mess people say that the Miramar map that was recently released there's loads of disconnections on that desync issues you know you name it they're having those kind you know every single kind of issue with that map people are happy so PUBG have decided to file a lawsuit against Epic Games and on the surface there's quite a lot of misinformation going around about this. If you read some of the comments on social media, people aren't really too informed about this. They just think that they're filing this lawsuit because they've copied the Battle Royale genre from them. That simply isn't the case. The first bit that needs dispelling is that Brendan Green and PUBG Corp can't take H1Z1 to court. They can't do that because the Battle Royale version of the game that they use is what Brendan Green actually licensed to them. So they paid him a royalty or they paid him a fee to use that Battle Royale style version of the game. So in essence, if he was to sue them, he'd be kind of suing himself. So that doesn't make any sense. So straight away, people can stop with the, well, why didn't he sue them? They did Battle Royale before Fortnite did. He can't because he licensed that to them. So that's that argument out the window straight away. The next one is that they aren't taking them to court because they copied Battle Royale. I mean, you can play Fortnite and you can play PUBG, and yeah, you can see massive similarities between the games. They're almost, it's almost a carbon copy, but it becomes a specific argument. What PUBG is saying is that Epic Games copied specific lines of code to put into their game, and it's these lines of code that they're arguing over. They're saying, well, we did it this way with this line of code, you should have done it a different way. They're saying that basically they just copied lines of code into their own game to make it work. Now, Epic Games worked alongside PUBG when they were developing the game because obviously PUBG uses the Unreal Engine, which is licensed from Epic Games. Now, Unreal Engine is free. People can use it, but once you use it and your product starts to make money, once it makes in a certain amount of money, the license decrees that you give a part or some royalties to Epic Games. So as PUBG became bigger, PUBG had to pay some royalties to Epic Games. Now Epic Games does this with Unreal Engines, there are a lot of games out there that use Unreal Engine, they pay royalties to them. So Epic Games have become a huge company, they are massive. And it really is a, a, a tale of David versus Goliath. But when it comes down to these specific pieces of code, PUBG might just have an argument. We see these kind of things all the time. You've got Apple versus Samsung. You know, they copied, copied certain things, certain technologies. You know, they're not going after them because they made a mobile phone and they'd made one. It's specific things within that that they're going after. So these lines of code, PUBG just might have an argument, but we're going to have to wait and see. Now, the lawsuit was filed in Korea and this was back in January, so I'm not really sure why we're just hearing about it now. And I don't know where the kind of jurisdiction laws come into effect. If they decree in Korea that Epic Games did copy code, how is, you know, does Epic Games have to pay up? You know, that's in Korea. They don't, they don't have a base in Korea. Could that mean that they will simply not be able to sell products or have Fortnite run in Korea until they've paid up? It's all a bit up in the air right now. I'll have to wait and see what happens when these two companies go to court. Now, Epic Games aren't strangers to going to court. 
Back in the mid 2000s they had an ongoing spat with a game studio in Canada called Silicon Knights and this started around 2007 and eventually wound up in 2014 with Silicon Knights filing for bankruptcy because Epic Games had basically won. And this was all over lines of code that, that was in Unreal Engine 3 and I don't know the specifics of it but Epic Games basically managed to shut that studio down because they wouldn't give in to their demands. So to take on Epic Games you've got to be brave but like I say these lines of code they might have an argument over that but it's a, it's a tough one to judge because obviously they're running on Unreal Engine and Epic Games are quite within their rights to go right then we revoke your license you can no longer code in that engine your game must cease and that could be a real worry now I'm not saying that they'd go to that lens because Epic Games would be chopping off an arm then because there's a lot of revenue comes in from PUBG for them. But if PUBG keep pushing it, it's something that Epic Games could do. I mean, Fortnite is doing amazingly well. Now, the last time I heard, I think it made them something like $220 million in revenue through cosmetic item sales. I mean, that is amazing. For a free game that's across all three platforms, that is amazing. Now, I don't know what PUBG has made, but obviously it took the world by storm when it came out. It's currently only available on two platforms, but did amazingly well. I think it's starting to slip a little bit now. I and a number of other people I know that used to play it quite avidly have kind of tailed off it now. I mean, myself, I haven't played it since since they launched the first test of the Savage map. I haven't played it since then. And previous to that, I'd not played it since Christmas or, well, just the beginning of January. And it's not something that I've been following with the channel anymore. It's so fragmented with these different servers and the different changes to the maps and, oh, we're testing this, we're going to test that. And it, nothing ever seems to come to fruition it seems to take ages to get anywhere and i think they're just trying to do too much at once i think they took way too much on the plate when they decided to move it over to the xbox i think they should have stuck to pc development I think they saw the partnership with Xbox and just saw dollar signs and decided to go for it. Which, fair play, if that's making them all rich, then that's all well and good. But it isn't going to make for a great product, and right now it isn't. So yeah, we'll see where this one goes. I'm going to keep following it. This is probably the only video that I'll do that will include um, PUBG. I just can't be asked with it no more. Moved on to other games now, moved on to you know playing other things. But yeah, I'm going to follow this story because I think it'd be quite interesting to see what the outcome is. So as always, ladies and gentlemen, let me know your thoughts and feelings down below do you think this is just gonna blow over and go nowhere or do you think that PUBG have a point do you think that maybe they could go to court and win do you think Epic Games could go right with revoking your license you know let me know what you think in the comment section down below as always ladies and gentlemen thank you very much for watching and listening don't forget to like share and subscribe and I will catch you in the next one take care